Hi, I'm Pastor Jess. Welcome to the first week of our Take Care Grow Group series. Uh, during this sermon series, we're going to explore what it means to take care of other people in our relationships, of our household and finances, of creation and our natural resources, as well as ourselves and the future. So for this first week, we're kicking things off with Rachel Zolnowski, who is our admin, uh, assistant administrative, no. Administrative uh, associate. Administrative associate. And uh, she is pretty much a spectacular, amazing, knows how to do everything around the church, and we would not function without her. And she's going to share a little bit about that here in a second. Uh, because this is interesting. This first week, we're kicking things off with how do we take care of others and relationships? So our opening question this week, Rachel, is consider a person that you consider dear to you. And what are their personal traits or characteristics or the actions that they have taken that make them dear to you? Okay, so... My BFF, Marsha. Um, she and I have been friends for a really long time. And it started off, we were in Bible study together, and it was very, you know, just kind of surface level. And the thing that really pushed us deeper was, one, complete open communication. Mm -hmm. We have had fights and disagreements, and we're both very open with each other. We're both very direct, which is helpful that we're, we don't kind of, you know, walk around something. We're just going to go straight through it. Um, but just being in each other's lives, just doing the things. And so she has walked with me through some s tough stuff. We have visited each other in the hospital when we've been there. And just the biggest thing that we talk about is that we don't have to clean up our houses when they come over. And so we are just real with each other and it has really developed into like a lifelong friendship. Love it. Lo this idea of uh, authentic presence yes. in each other's lives. Yes. I, I love how you describe that. Yeah, we are as real as it gets. That's perfect. Yep. Uh, our focus scripture passage for uh, this week is Galatians uh, chapter 6, verse 2. Uh, it says, carry each other's burdens, and so you will fulfill the law of Christ. And so a discussion question we want to get started with today is, when someone asks you for help, what is your first reaction? This is a tricky one because it depends on who is asking <laughs> asking me for help. Um, here at the church, I am the administrative associate, so I'm a helper. I am a support. And so I jump right in and I do the things. Um, I was packing up lunch for the bishop today because he was in the building and we were doing that kind of stuff. And so that's my my just go-to. Mm -hmm. Now, if it is my husband or my kids and they're asking for help finding something that they should know where it is, might be a little different, but... I'll still get up from the couch and show them. I just might grumble about it a little bit beforehand. Right, right. So this is an immediate follow-up then is, has anyone ever taken care of you and how did that make you feel? Um, I hate it. I hate it a lot. I want to be the doer. I want to be the helper. And so it's really hard for me to to receive that. Um, I also would rather not have really feelings at all. And so having to like be vulnerable is really, ooh. Um, but I do have a really specific uh, memory. At my dad's funeral, my friend Marsha was standing next to me and she would hand me a Kleenex and then she would take my like tear soaked Kleenexes and go throw them away. And in that moment, I couldn't have even asked for that. I don't even know how you say, please hold my dirty Kleenexes. But she was just in that moment and was helping. And I mean, that's something that stuck with me for years. So it's good, it's fine, but not my favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So an immediate follow-up to this follow-up is, and obviously you're a spouse and a mother. Yep, yep. Have you ever taken care of someone else? And how did taking care of them make you feel? Uh, no, never. No. <laughs> um, obviously, that is a kind of full-time job yes. as a parent in general. And um, 
I am, again, I'm the doer. Like when my kids are sick, we've got the sick bed on the couch and we've got the bucket and the Kleenex and the medicine and the movies and all of that kind of stuff. I, I want to be there and doing the things. I am not as good with the feeling side. I said, I'd rather not have feelings. And so if it's just having to sit in the moment, not, not my best trait, but I am always there to like, what do you need? How can I help? You know, what can I get done? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so then a, a concluding question for this week, and this gets back to our scripture passage from Galatians, is uh, this law of Christ, as it's described, is really being present and right. showing the love of Christ for other people. So how does carrying each other's burdens fulfill this law? With my story about Marsha just being there in the moment, that is meaningful. And that has been seven years now of like, I know that people brought us meals and sent cards, but that being there and seeing what I needed and fulfilling it in that moment was so impactful. And so it is. It's just being next to somebody, seeing what they need, and just walking alongside. It's not huge grand gestures. It's just being there and just showing the love that you already have for them in a tangible way. That's perfect example. Perfect example. Uh, a takeaway for this week is that uh, taking care of others means uh, loving others. And, and for many of us, this can be challenging, um, especially considering that each of us have um, different life experiences um, and different expectations about how we uh, desire to be cared for as well as how we care for other people. Um, but we need to recognize and understand always that Jesus models this care for us, that Jesus is present and shows up for those. Um, he encourages and empowers uh, his followers. He challenges them and holds them accountable. Um, and he simply is present and shows up, as Rachel so eloquently put. Um, and so the question that we asked this week is, how might you do this for those in your life this week? A special thank you to Rachel for being here and for answering and for, sh for being vulnerable. Oh, and no. And just being present. Oh, no. Sharing the feelings. <laughs> so thank you again for being here this week. We look forward to coming back next week for week two of Take Care, where we will discuss what it means to take care of our households and our finances. Until then, see you then.